Hello, everybody, and welcome to the end of this LP of Let's Play Half-Life with Mio Fu. It's even got its own chapter, named Endgame. Here we go. Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard suit, I took the liberty of relieving you of your weapons. Most of them were government property. As for the suit, I think you've earned it. Okay. Oh the my god. The world, then, is in our control for the time being, thanks to you. Quite a nasty piece of work you managed over there. I am impressed. But I was just doing what came to me. That's why I'm here, Mr. Freeman. I have recommended your services to my employers. And they have authorized me to offer you a job. They agree with me that you have limitless potential. What do you mean, employers? What do you mean, job? You've proved yourself a decisive man, so I don't expect you'll have any trouble deciding what to do. If you're interested, just step into the portal, and I will take that as a yes. Otherwise, well, I can offer you a battle you have no chance of winning. Rather an anticlimax after what you've just survived. Um... Oh god. Time to choose. I choose a Windows 95 screensaver. Ah! No. Um, I am going to choose both. Choose. Don't worry, G-Man. I'm choosing your side. Because that's a good ending. Wisely done, Mr. Freeman. I will see you up ahead. Oh god, that voice freaks me out so much. I'm glad they kept the same voice actor, because guess who we're going to see again in Half-Life 2? Eventually. But anyway, that is Half-Life. And, well, produced by Valve. Well, no, sorry, made by Valve, produced by Sierra. The only, pers the only people that would produce the game. And... Let's played by me, Oix Fu. <laughs> no, I don't want to give myself that. I don't want to even ca ca put myself in the same category as these guys because I do, I do love this game, and I'm glad that all of you joined me for this let's play. All of you that have stuck around, even through the hard parts for me, where it was almost two months between two episodes. I'm, I, I am sorry about that, but no. I'm, I'm sorry about that on a level where I'm sorry that it took so long, but I'm not sorry that I took so long, because I needed the time. <laughs> like I said before, I'm not going to go into that, because that would that would ruin this, this whole ending. Love the music, too. Don't worry, we'll hear it again, because, well, we'll be going through it again in just a second. Oh, whenever I hear Cowbell, I always like to think that there's the band playing on stage, and then they have the one guy that they give to the Cowbell to, and they're like, Okay, you got. it's really, really important that you hit this and make sure that it's at a rhythm. Otherwise, the whole thing falls apart. <laughs> and they don't even put him on stage. He's like behind a curtain or something. I don't know. But anyway. Now... We will reject his offer and see what awaits. It's time to choose. See what awaits us. I choose screensaver. I do love this though. It's just a very. Well, it looks like we won't be working together. Desolate, despairing no picture. Regrets, Mr. Freeman. Oh God! It is a fight I'll never win. <laughs> So we died because we declined. <laughs> what else to say about this game? 
I know I say it with uh, all of my LPs, but I do think I grew in my ability to make LPs through this through this let's play. Um, not as much as I think I, I grew with um, some other ones, like not as much as I grew with Resident Evil. But I was I was doing this let's play while I was doing Resident Evil, so it did show. Uh, this was also the very first first person shooter that I did let's play. So it was entirely new to me how to do that because it's not you can't just go through like it's an RPG and be like, oh, well, dialogue, that's all there. No, Half-Life is almost, the amount of dialogue in it is very, very small. Um, and you can go through the entire game with only like a few bits of dialogue that you actually listen to. A lot of what you get from the story is actually just watching what happens around you and thinking for yourself. And I think I was able to convey some of that, but I wasn't able to convey all of it. So I do urge you all who watch this, if you've never played Half-Life, play Half-Life. It's an amazing game. And I don't think I could ever do it justice with a Let's Play. I tried. My ultimate goal when I started Let's Playing is I love this game. I love Half-Life. I'm gonna do that game. Wait a minute, I love the rest of the Half-Life games, I'm gonna do those too! So I did. Oh. I, I, I honestly don't know anything else to say. Like, I don't have any bit more of a retrospective for the Let's Play. I know that's what I usually... I usually do that with the endings of Let's Plays. I usually do a retrospective canvas, if you will, and look back at the LP as a whole. Uh, this LP's go been going on for not too long. I think I started it in the winter. Something around then. I didn't put it on hiatus like I did Golden Sun, but I, I don't know. It's not a long game. Uh, I, I remembered it being longer than it actually is. I think that's because there's so much content in there. The, the beginning of the game is so drastically different from the end of the game. And it really shows. But... I don't know. <laughs> I won't profess to know what I'm trying to get across to you. I'm just going to hope that you get some sense... Of, emo of the emotion that I'm trying to convey. Whether or not you understand what that is as well. That's all I can, that's all I can hope for. So, in the end, I think that, no, I do, do not think that I did this, ha this Let's Play of Half-Life as well as I could have. Like, if I were to start all over again right now, do I think it'll be better? No. I don't think it'll be better. I think it would be feel recycled. But I think I did the best I could under the circumstances. So, there you go. Let's play Half-Life. Completed with Mio Expo. And I'll see you guys uh, next time with... I think next is Half-Life Opposing Force. Because I do want to do them in the order they were released. This was Half-Life Source... Which, I mean, I, that doesn't count. That was released after all the first Half-Life's between Half-Life Blue Shift and Half-Life Decay. So that doesn't count. Technically. But it is Half-Life. It, it's not actually a change. After that, Gearbox made Half-Life Opposing Force. At, you might know Gearbox as the people who went on to create Borderlands uh, a few years ago. After that, they also produced... Oh, by the way, uh, Opposing Force follows the story of Alan Shepard, a Marine who comes to Black Mesa to try and, well, do what all the Marines we've seen so far have done. Follow their orders. And after that, they put out uh, 
Black or not Black Mesa, um, Half Life Blue Shift, which follows a security guard, Barney Calhoun, and his experience in Black Mesa. And I think those three games are more cohesive if you think of them as one whole game because they show the same scenario from three different perspectives and the characters do see themselves we see we see uh barney calhoun like that is his model right there um <laughs> like that's not him but we see him when we're when we're coming in we i think there are times when we sh when we do see him um there when we jump into the portal to zen in opposing force it shows alan shepard coming into that room right after gordon freeman jumps in it's all interconnected and that's what i love about it and then there is another game half-life decay which i do want to do at some point because it is a cooperative game and i want to get my friend uh not sure which pseudonym he'll go by either i'm guessing either crow of the abyss which i've known him by for longer or balrog i want to get him on a, in on that project if i can and that follows two the other two doctors who wear hazardous environment various suits i don't remember their names uh one's gina i think but other than that i i don't know the game i've never played it it's gonna be blind it's gonna be great it's gonna be fantastic but that's going to happen after those two other games, so don't don't expect it like tomorrow or something. Don't expect opposing force tomorrow. And then, and I mean, they deliver the sample to Gordon Freeman, so interconnected again. And then after that, Half-Life 2 and all that follows. So, I did want to lay out a timeline just because I thought it was important. So, alright, so I'll see you guys in the next installment of this Half-Life LP series. Because it is going to be. And maybe by the time I finish it, Half-Life 2 Episode 3 will be out. We can only hope. <laughs> What'll that be in, like, two, 2015? <laughs> Alright, guys. I'll see you next time. With me, OXFU. Take it easy. <laughs>